What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock with me, the one and drill. So, in today's episode, we are going to be heading straight into the Team Magma Hideout to hopefully take some lives, destroy some lives, and everything like that. And then after that, we'll head over to, well, I head towards Moss Deep City, I suppose. So, let's pop on inside and see what trouble we can cause inside here. Hope you're having a lovely day today. I have recorded this, this is later on at night now, the next day after the last one, because I completely forgot to record last night, which is absolutely brilliant of me. Um, but hopefully we can get our Gligar and our Sneasel evolved in this episode. That would be quite nice, would it not? Grab a Nugget first. This person does not battle us, so I'm not even going to speak to them because they say nothing interesting apart from the fact they're looking at pipes. Yeah, I know. Very interesting. and Indeed, of course, it's interesting. Okay, let's get on this. I think I remember my, my way through, through this hideout. It has been changed since the original games, obviously. And that's going to be today's question. You know, do you like the new uh, Team Magma slash Team Aqua Hideout list? Is that a good list or not a good list? Or is it a good design rather? Um, yeah, a good design, you know, good design, bad design, whatever. I personally really like the design, with, especially with the pipes. I haven't seen an Alpha Sapphire properly quite yet, because uh, I haven't got there in my Alpha Sapphire games. Um, I am three of them, but I haven't got there in any of them. But um, I hope too soon. So anyway. Okay, coughing. Luke is up first, and we're going to destroy you as soon as possible to get Luke leveled up to level 41 and get ourselves a nice and powerful Weavile, please. Sludge Bomb, excuse me. Okay, well, Luke, Luke took that pretty well, to be honest, considering it's a Sludge Bomb rather than just Sludge or something. He did that take that pretty well. If it was um, Gunk Shot, he would not have taken it well. <laughs> Our defense is absolutely terrible, so. Numel is coming in. I can hit this thing went for neutral, to be honest, so. Uh, and it's. I mean, Numel's like half defensive but it's not particularly defensive so yeah we can take it in one as I predicted we are still a bit higher leveled here but what can you do guys what can you do we'll it'll level out soon enough because I think Titan Lies is Pokemon level 41s I'm pretty sure um, and we know that Groudon's gonna be level 45 so hopefully we won't be too over level for too long at least I don't know I mean we've got like 15 levels to go until we battle the victory to battle the elite four I'll not victory road well, I mean it is victory road as well but you guys get what I mean a Namel again okay well if this thing's level 35 again we can stay in and take it here's to hoping it is it is level 35 again so I'm assuming I can stay in and ice punch this thing if not we could be in trouble but oh uh, yes we can lovely 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 it's only if that one last one had really low defense IVs and this one had really high defense IVs is the only problem but there was no problem so coughing again another one of these just the same team switched around such creativity there game freak such creativity I mean I'd like it if there was more variety in um the team the evil teams but then it sort of takes away from it as well if you get what I mean like you know the variety the, not the, the variety the, no, the non variety the, you know, the certain three or four Pokemon lines that they use sort of is what makes a team an, an evil team an evil team pretty much I guess um, but I mean if they use other fire types like talk while and stuff that'd be awesome after Flannery's gym of course you know don't use it beforehand to ruin it but we can heal up here straight off because that's very helpful indeed to have a healing station right here then having to waste my potions I don't even think I have any potions um, so I think I was going to use them in grinding, but they weren't there. That guy is just sniffing beds, so that's very nice. Grab a forest store here. At least that's something we can use at some point if we need to save a Pokemon's life. Uh, she is not going to battle us because she's just looking at the fridge. I mean, she's hardly going to be like, oh, I'll just take my precious time with the fridge away and use it to battle you. Of course not. She's going to just stay and sniff the fridge. Sniff the fridge and sniff the beds. Why not? Grab this item. This guy is not going to battle us, obviously, because he's stood right here. I don't know if you can use the escape road to get out of here or not. I'm assuming you can since, since they give you one, but I guess we'll see. What panel is the hideout's pride and joy? Boom. They do get quite annoying, though, because you don't know where you're going, and if you get lost, then that's it. You get lost. Team Mago Grants, who has got a mighty Enna? Ooh. Well, I don't think... Well, we're, we're, in fairly, we're in fairly safe hands with Luke. Luke and a most likely two-hit kill this thing. I mean, it was doing more damage, more than half damage to that coughing, and that coughing was defensive, so Ice Punch should be uh, fairly simple. Yep, doing half damage, that's all good. Taunt! Ta you're taunting me? It's not like I was going to attack. Of course I was going to attack you, idiot, my Diana. I'm hoping we're going to evolve now because it is night time. Um, I checked Bulbapedia and it says after 8pm, it should, in, in Generation 6, it should evolve. It all classes as night, so it should evolve. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we evolve. That's only my hope, though. If we don't evolve now, I'm screwed. Evolve, evolve, evolve. Yes, we're going to evolve! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, Luke, get the power. This, this Weavile is going to be so powerful 
nothing will stand in its way. It's going to want to kill everything. Maybe not everything, but you guys get the idea. It's going to be powerful, guys. P to the O to the W E R. Powerful. Boom. Look at that jump there. Hello, Weavile. How are you doing? How are you doing, Weavile? You're looking pretty sweet there. It's all good. Thank you very much. Okay, now to get Gligar. Well, I mean, let's get the... Uh, oops, don't want to get that. Let's get the other guys, the level 40 leveled up first. So, Luke needs an item as well now. Because, obviously, we took the item away from him. Or well, we gave him a different item, rather. So, let's give him back his black glass, I suppose. Uh, by, by, not by type, by name. By name! Um, black glass at the top. Just look and see if there's anything else we could also... Now we'll just give black glasses to him. Boom, there we are. Okay, we get Fairy and Prince leveled up. And then we can obviously do a Gligar after that to get our Gliscor. That's going to be powerful. Gliscor, that's going to be really defensive. It's going to be P. I can't use that joke again. No, it's not even a joke. It's just a thing. Nothing I say is a joke because I'm terrible at making jokes. I'm not funny at all. Um, okay. Hey, yo, what's going on, dude? If you want to know the secrets of the hideout, try to defeat me. Okay, dude. Are uh, the secrets of the hideout if you stand in the warp panel as you get warped? Because, you know, I sort of know that already. Don't go waste my time here, dude. Do not go waste my time. A gold bat's coming out. We can rock slide this thing to oblivion. So, it's will be a GG start and end here. Thank you very much, Faria. Let's just get off. A rock slide away. Acrobatics. I'm going to resist that four times. Plus, if you like, wow, a whole four damage gold bat. And you haven't even got an item on. If they had an item, it would do two damage. Absolutely brilliant, go back. Absolutely brilliant. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. There we are. Defeated easily. I have no chance of win. No, not really. Not really, dude. Use the worst move. Like, did you have something better? I mean, Poison Fang would not affect us at all, so. But, there we are. Energy supply, okay. Snack supply, okay. We'll have to take out anyone who stands in our way. Boom. Surely energy and snack sort of fall in the same sort of thing. No? Does snacks not give you energy? Do you not get energy from snacks? No? Okay. I was just wondering, guys. I'm just wondering, you know? He's just, uh, just picking at these little things in the game, you know? Anyway, uh, Mr. Ferrier, Mr. Mr. Laron, that's the one. We're gonna iron head this mighty. And this thing's only level 34, my lord. How underpowered, un underleveled are these guys? I'm not really overleveled, to be honest. Like, I was only level 38, 38 39 when um, we came into after Mount Pyre, so, you know. Everyone seems to be the same level here. It's getting quite annoying, you know? I did do some grinding, I admit, to get everyone to level 40 after Mount Pyre, because we did lose a Pokemon to our freaking wild Pelipper, but... Um, that's very almost leveled up. It can stay in here and wipe this Golbat out, and then it should hopefully level up from that. I uh, can't remember what level the Golbat was just now, but this one shouldn't be any higher. Well, definitely not any higher, but... I wouldn't mind if it was the same one, because I want some more experience, please. But... That thing is gone. Hopefully it's going to level up Ferrian out. Then we can get a Prince leveled up. And then we can move on to getting Nerfy leveled up to get ourselves a nice and powerful Gly score. Sweet. Okay. Team Magron was defeated. I've been harshly defeated. Harshly. Not even not just defeated. Harshly defeated. Okay, dude. Um, I'm not even sure which way I have to go now. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the way we have to go to get the Master Ball and stuff. So I shall do that because it's most likely, I'm most likely going to use the Master Ball to catch... Uh, I don't know whether to use it to catch... From a Groudon or a Quasar, because they're both hard to catch, and they both need to be caught. But I don't know. But I have reached the right room here. I'm I'm just I'm an expert like this. Um, one of them is going to be yep, yeah, an electrode there. Oh dear, good thing I didn't switch Prince in though. But I can just run away from this thing anyway. I'm pretty sure. Is it, no, yeah, it's an electrode. I was about to say it's a Volta or not, but now it's an electrode. Nice and powerful electrode. No, level 40, damn. See, this thing is higher than all the trainers in this base. What is going on there? It's going to use Magnet Rise. Not that I'm going to use Earthquake. If I did, if I had it, I would probably try. But I don't, so. Rock Slide away. Get some damage off against this thing. This thing's frail, so it's not going to take much to take out. And it cancels. It's a ca actually cancels the capture. Uh, an encounter, doesn't it? Because it's a different area. So I guess we'll try and catch this thing. Not with a Pokeball. Go straight for the Ultra Ball, please. It's level 40 as well. So that gives a very high level Pokemon on our team. Let's try and catch it. One, two, three. Nope, nope, not the three. Not the third one, apparently. Electro Ball. <sighs> Boom. And we are pretty slow, so that's going to do decent damage there. I'm going to use Iron Head because I don't think Iron Head's going to finish them off because it does resist it. So hopefully it won't kill it. Didn't kill it. Awesome. Static is going to paralyze me, though. Whoops. Oh dear. Uh, if only we had Synchronize, except static Synchronize will not even work because Electric Black Pokemon can't get Static, can't get Paralyzed, whatever. There we are, I think that was a critical capture to be honest. One, 
Yep, critical capture. That's the first time I've had a crit critical capture in Auras. First time. I was, oh, well, obviously I had him in X and Y, but first time in Auras. Haven't seen him quite yet, but I could tell it was what it was from where I got it, so that's all good. Okay, Electrode, what do you got for me? You are the bald Pokemon. That's self-explanatory. There we are. Next, we shall give you a name. We're going to call you Bullin, because that's what we call our Electrodes. Bullin. Bullin. Boom. Bullin. Sweet. And then that thing's going to go to the PC, and we can get a nice level 40 Pokemon hatch from an egg later on. It's going to go to box 11 for some reason, but don't ask me why. Now we can get to the Nuggets, and also to the Master Ball. I think the last one there is another Electrode, so I'm not going to touch that. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave it there, probably. I don't think it's something else. It's got to be just another Electrode. Just so you have to you know, have to battle at least one electrode to get to a to the thing. Now if you press on this one it should go to the start hopefully. Nope. Go left again. Now we should go to the start. Yep. When you're going down you go to the right. When you're going up you go to the left. Boom. Okay. Let's go up here now. And we'll switch out Ferris since we do not need her up here anymore. And we go to Prince to be at the front now. If we're near the end, which I think we are. I'm not sure if this one takes me down or not. Yes it does. Sweet. Um, we have this battle here, and there's a battle against five grunts, because it's the horde battle. Um, so indeed we have to actually, you know, we'll definitely use Prince there, because Prince has Surf. So, but it's a Numel coming out first with this trainer, so that's definitely going to go down to a Surf, so that's no problem at all. Prince can get this, and Prince has almost leveled up as well, but we're going to have to keep Prince on for the next battle. Uh, anyway, so, so don't think Nerf, you know, it's any spread moves, does it? No, it doesn't. Not that I remember at least, so it needs to go out because otherwise it's going to come on. We're not even leveled up, so. Okay, dude, let's go and battle the five trainers. Boom, there they are. Oh, I'm not in the middle. That, that annoys me. <laughs> we finally meet again. Hmm, uh, is this the first time we've met? Ninkum poop, it doesn't matter. Brace yourselves. Yourself, we'll show you the power of quintuplets. I don't like, you only meet them twice, I think it is. Once now and then once, um... In the Delta episode is the only time you meet them, which kind of annoys me. I want to see them more. But here comes the Horde of Puchiena. Boom. Ch Watch out, guys. Puchiena coming out of their assholes. But we got this, guys. Is that, they're only level 18 as well. If they were the same level as us, like level 30, that'd be scary. But they're not, so, you know. We can surf. It takes ages for the commands to go through as well, because I think it has to load in all the, like, random, has to randomize all the other Puchiena commands. But they're all wiped out. Nice and pentakill there. Boom, and experience for Prince. Only 1,000 experience, even though we wiped out five at once. That's not too many, to be honest. Oh no, you got us. Yes, indeed. Very synchronized. They're like Tate and Liza. Ha ha ha. We lost. It's odd. I can't believe five of us didn't defeat just one trainer. Did you cheat? Grumble, grumble. Nincompoop, you're strong, aren't you? Stop whining. Our leaders are ahead. You have no chance to defeat them. I think I do, to be honest. Where do they go anyway? They just disappear. I want to see them around here. I know in the Delta episode once you defeat them, they stay in the area, but this time they just disappear. I don't like that. All oh, item. Did I even see this the first time I was here in my other game? I don't think I did. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it, and it's useless to us anyway, because it's a revive. Brilliant. But here we are. It's Courtney. Wow, well, Courtney, you have good eyesight. I knew you would come. Come on, Courtney, let's do this. Courtney's, Courtney's cute in a weird way, to be honest. Too bad, though. It's all over now. The submarine has been upgraded. There they are. Look at that drill. Without even the seal on the seafloor, Cowden's in for a walloping. There's still more work for me to do. I must stop you until these actually departs. But now I just want to, with you, I want to engage you, I want to analyse. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, Courtney, all you've got is a camera up, so I'm not really scared of you. Because you can't really dodge my Gligar, to be honest. I don't think at least. I mean, we resist our. Well, we're immune to your ground stab, we resist your fire stab. Murphy has got this, uh, he just needs to level up. How close? Oh, he's not close at all. Damn it. Uh, Acrobatics X is a knockoff. I use knockoff. Knock I don't think they, they haven't got an item, but I'll use knockoff anyway. It's not doing much damage, but oh, yawn. Oh, I see you there. I see their camera up, trying to, trying to be sneaky there. Uh, I'll just keep knocking off on you, I think. I could probably use Acrobatics, it's probably going to do more damage anyway, but I'm going to fall asleep, but we'll just wait till I wake up again, and uh, then we'll go for the Acrobatics here. We shall indeed. What are you going to do when I'm asleep, camera up? What are you going to do when I'm asleep? You are going to curse yourself. Oh, well, that's good because they're going to raise their defense. Hot damn. That's not good. I don't want that to happen. I woke up. Oh, that's good. Second turn, lol. Second turn wakes up, wake up to the win. Another curse. Well, your speed's going to drop again. Not that you're fastest in the first place, so it doesn't matter. But your attack and your defense get boosted again. I don't think we can take you out of uh, acrobatics, to be honest, with this 
extra defense boost, but we can try. Nope. Take down. Oh dear. That did damage, but they are going to kill themselves with recoil now. Sorry, camera up. You're still lost. Whoops. And that's experience for Nerfy there. Thank you very much, Courtney. <laughs> Thank you very much, Courtney. You know, very easy to battle you and defeat you. Yes. Change the world. And they're gone. Boom. We were too late, guys. We were too far too late. Lead Maxi, mission complete. Lead Maxi has departed for the development of humanity, for our dreams. To you who are not had not foreseen, I weave a hit, so that you may dream the same dream as us. Lead Maxi is heading headed for the sea stretching out from Lilikov. In the depths of the sea lies a civil cavern. What are you going to do? Looking around and see the towns, that might work. <laughs> I don't know what you could do to get there. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell. <laughs> well, that's just just ridiculous, you know. I don't think there's anything over here, but uh, oh, of course there's the teleport pad to get back. That makes sense. Put me down here, and we missed a few items there, but it doesn't matter. That'll do. We're already over uh, over leveled enough, so I don't need to get any more experience to be, on to be honest. Um, I guess we'll head towards Mossdeep now. I'll probably head straight for Mossdeep to be honest, because I don't want to level up even more. We're level 41 now, and that's the same level as the Mossdeep gym, so I don't want to get too over leveled. I'm going to heal up before I leave though very quickly. Because I don't want to die at sea. As you can see, it is getting dark here, so the night does certainly make sense for this level up experience thing to work. But let's get healed up first, and then we'll head over to Moss Deep City as, as fast as possible, to be honest. Just, we might be even, be, even be able to start the gym today, which will be good because uh, Nerfy, to level up, needs some easy battles, and swimmers are not going to give easy battles. If anything, I'll, I'll use the swimmers as uh, grinding in the future. But. We seem to be a high enough level at the moment to take on the next gym, I think, especially with six party members and a double surfer, because it's a double battle as well. So if we can pair, if we pair Prince with, I don't know who resists water, to be honest, though. Is there any problem? Problem with using surf there, but we'll, we'll manage, guys. This is a new route, though, so we can catch another Pokemon here um, if we manage to find one as we go across here. Just uh, read the route sign, because why the hell not? And we're almost to Moss Deep already, guys, so... Um, let's see if we can get Route 124 capture. Come on, Route 124. Find me a Pokemon, please. I need to catch a Pokemon on Route 124. And also one in Moss Deep City. Oh, come on. I don't want to search. I don't want to fish for it. Oh, I guess I'll, there we are. Finally. Okay, we'll catch this Pokemon quickly. And then we'll head over to Moss Deep. We'll catch Pokemon Moss Deep and head over there as well. And I guess we'll start the gym challenge. Get through some of the trainers at least. I don't think we'll get through the whole gym, though. That'd be a bit scary. Uh, I'm going to use cut on. I'm going to use X as since it resists it. Hopefully, it won't kill us because we already had one team member die to a Pelipper. Don't want another one. It's going to use payback, which I resist pretty darn well. So that's all good there. Yeah, we're doing that well. Another X scissor, please. Get down to half health points, hopefully. Yep. And do we get another one? No, they're going to roost, really. You're going to roost. You're really going to roost, Pelipper. You really done this to me. Oh my god, that did. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm going to go and do. I'm going to use cut. See how much damage Cut does. They're gonna use Protect. Oh, Pelipper, Pelipper, Pelipper. Last time we battled against the Wild Pelipper did not go very well because we lost a Pokemon. So hopefully we don't have a repeat here. And that Pelipper was very annoying as well. All Pelippers are very, as you can tell, all Pelippers are very annoying. Oh my actual god! Please stop, Pelipper. I will have to do something to you I don't like, which is just kill you indefinitely. Uh, there's the Water Pulse. Okay, no, he's got to switch out now because this is gonna do. Okay, didn't do that much damage actually. They it confused us, so now we have to switch out. Let's go out into. I don't want to get to Prince, really. Uh, don't want to get to Luke either. I'll get Prince. I guess Prince can work it down slowly. It has Whirlpool, so that might help. I don't know. I don't know anymore. You're trying to protect against me? Excuse me. Um, I'm going to use Surf. I don't think Surf's going to kill it. If it does, ah, uh, well. If it doesn't, awesome. Yeah, it's not going to kill it. And they're going to use Whirlpool, so we have a, a chance to capture it next turn, finally. Yeah, and we, don't only, we only took 6 damage from that. What's Prince got as an ability? Is it Pressure? It's a sucky ability, to be honest. Pressure's terrible. I wish I had uh, Water Absorb, because then that'd be awesome against water types. But, 1, 2, 3, boom. We got ourselves a Pelipper. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, awesome, and sweet. Uh, in terms of actually backing the trainers on the street, as I said, I'll probably use it for grinding if I need to in the future. I don't need to grind at the moment, but if I need to in the future, I will indeed. And the same with Shoal Cave area, I'll probably use that for grinding as well. I might just pop up there for a Pokemon. But apart from that, I'm going to call this thing... Oh my god, I don't know. I've caught so many Pelipers, I don't know what to call it. Car. Car. Or 
car. Because that's what they do, isn't it? Seagulls, they go, car. Da, da. Yeah, does that make sense? No? Okay. Uh, and let us switch in. I guess we'll switch Prince in to go and get deal with our next Pokemon, which is most likely going to be another Pelipper. No, my luck, but here we are, Moss Deep. Let's just uh, surf around here. Okay, I guess we're going. This thing is a Pelipper. I heard the cry. Oh, God, Pelipper, come back here. This is why I hate Dexnav on um, Dexnav changing on the water, because you have to keep changing directions and then you have to readjust your amount of you've moved in the uh, circle pad and you know, all sorts of stuff like that. It's really annoying. But, level 25 again. Surf is not going to kill you in one hit, so we'll use this. How much damage is it going to do, though? Just under half. Awesome. And you're going to roost, really. <sighs> Pelipers, man. They are quite annoying. After having to go through Hone and do a Nuzlocke on Hone, Pelipers are getting quite annoying. Oh my god, Pelipper, please. Please, 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 please. Be nice. Have mercy on me, Pelipper. Have mercy. Don't use Roost. Pelipper, I've got, I'm in the right mind to freaking use a Master Ball on you to try and catch you, because you're just really pissed. Fuck off. Oh my god. Do you have to really do this to me, Pelipper? Are you ready? Double Protect. In a wife battle, when I want to Double Protect, I can't get Double Protect. When a fucking wild Pelipper wants to Double Protect, he can easily get Double Protect. What is this, guys? What is life? What is life when they can get Double Protect and I can't? Finally, they're not going to attack me. Awesome. So we're one step there, guys. Don't, okay, don't confuse me, please don't. That's all we need right now. I can surf again, hopefully it won't kill it. And then, oh, that was so close, oh my god. And, yep, we're going to take that. And then I can give the capture with an Ultra Ball right now. We're going to have to buy some more Ultra Balls, because we're going to run low soon. Um, but, let's get it, guys, let's do it. One, two, three, boom. Excuse me? Excuse me, Pelipper? Are you really being this cocky? Are you really doing this to me right now? Are you really being like, nah fam, I'm not going to stay in the ball. I'm going to jump out the ball. Better stand there this time, dude. Fucking excuse me. Oh my god. Pelipers are too sassy. I bet this thing is a sassy nature. I bet it is, because look at it, man. It's just being the sass master right now. It's being the sass master. Come on. One. Two. Three. Oh my god. Pelipper, what are you doing? Stay in the fucking ball. You're only level 25. You're hardly hard to catch Pokemon. You're hardly fucking primal Groudon, are you now? One. Two. Three. I have no words to this thing. I will absolutely kill you if you do not get the next Pokeball. I actually will, Pelipper, please. Just stay in a damn Pokeball. One, two, three. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. Thank you. Some more experience for Prince. And that is that done. I shall nickname Pelipper Twat. Even though I can't name it Twat, so I'll name it Corkor. Kaka! Like that. Yeah, is that alright for you guys? Kaka! Do you like that? Kaka! Yeah, I don't know. That'll do though. As a uh, item on the shore of Moss Deep City, I shall quickly catch over here. Boom! It's going to be a big pearl. Lovely, nice and cash. I need to actually go for my um, bag and sell all the all the stuff I can sell for cash. To be honest, because there's probably a good amount in there. Uh, I'm not going to hatch the eggs right now. I am going to. I think I'll do this. I'll probably start the gym. Probably finish the gym off next episode unless we can actually like sweep through this gym here. And then next episode, I'll go up to the route above. Route below and Shoal Cave to catch some more Pokemon. Actually, it's probably like four more areas I can go to catch more Pokemon. So I'll probably do that first, uh, and then I'll hatch like four eggs at once because it's much more e much easier than going to hatch like you know one at a time sort of thing. But let's get started on this gym. I'm going to put Nerfy up front because I want Nerfy to evolve ASAP, and Nerfy has Knock Off as well against these Psychic types. So that's all good there. Let's get hovering, guys. Let's get hovering. Battles hin battle hinges battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never return. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Psychic Preston's got myself a Kadabra. R.I.P. Kadabra, because one knockoff is gonna kill you. I'm sorry. Uh, these guys are they higher level now? They're at level 38, 39. 42! Holy hell, okay. Is this guy roleplay? Is that my ability? 
Yeah, you're gonna change to what immunity? Okay, well, I wasn't I wasn't planning on poisoning you anyway, so that's all good. And yep, there's the one hit kill knockoff there. Predicted. Uh, but I'm guessing that I'm guessing that thing was higher level than the gym linked as Pokemon. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Okay. Well, we'll talk to this little thing here. It's not really explain what these are, but they change the pathways of some of the uh, things. I don't really like it because you're gonna actually end up missing some battles off. So, but what can you do, guys? What can you do when you don't like something? You have to, you know, bottle up and take it. You can actually just skip this battle entirely here. You don't need to battle him. However, I shall, because yeah, there we are. I can't get enough of this way of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. Well, you know, it's magic because it's a psychic gym, dude. Get it? Psychic Joshua has got himself a Kadabra. Goodbye, Kadabra, as we have already mentioned. Um, if only we had Earthquake on one of our Pokemon, because then we could easily use Earthquake on... Actually, no, wait, both Solrock and Lunatone have Levitate. Screw that idea. Scrap that idea, guys, unless we have Gravity on a Pokemon too, which is not going to happen. Psychic, that did power. Kadabra, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I need to get Nerfy Evolved. Don't go using powerful moves on me. Manicham, I'm going to stay in. And I'm going to switch out. Actually, this thing is a physical attacker, so I'm not too scared of it. I've got acrobatics too. Psych up. I've got no stat changes, dude. I've got no stat changes. Acrobatics away. Super effective. And you're gone with the one hit. I'm going to acrobatics again. Please don't attack me. Power trick. That's just going to switch over attack and defense. Well, unless your attack was crazily high, it's not going to help. Goodbye, Metacham. And that should hopefully level up Nerfy to level 42. Boom, and we can get ourselves a nice and powerful Gliscor. Let's do this. Second Joshua is gone. Goodbye, my friend. Boom. Okay, Nerfy. Our first Pokemon in the Egglock, actually. Get Evolving. It's, a, it's survived 42 levels of uh, Gligar. Now, here comes the one, the only, Gliscor. Boom. Powerful, man. Look at the power there. Nerf evolved into Gliscor. Sweet. Nice and very defensive now. Sweet. Okay, right. Let's see who is going to be the best at this gym, to be honest, because uh, I guess, yeah, Luke is going to be best um, in general. I mean, I'm thinking about the leaders, to be honest, because Prince is going to be good at that, but Prince has to be paired with someone who doesn't take much damage from water attack moves, which says no, no, no. Uh, so it's just really uh, Luke or Sparky, so Prince isn't really that good against the GM in general. I mean, it's got moves, so Prince might be good to focus, actually, but Luke is good because of his, the fact that he can actually hit them with neutral or super effective moves, to be honest. So we'll level up Luke a bit more. Let's do it. <laughs> Watch me levitate a Pokeball te telekinetically. Sometimes I'm out of sync. Well, dude, you gotta be in sync, dude. You gotta get in sync with this stuff. Psychic Fritz has got himself a clay doll. Oh, dear. Well, we have Ice Punch and Thief. Ice Punch is more powerful, so I'm going to use that. It's our chance to use Ice Punch here. Our other move is Home Claws. I mean, our moves don't have low accuracy, I don't think. I mean, Hyper Beam. Hello, Claydol! Excuse me! Luke, please survive this. <laughs> oh, yeah, he took like a boss. Oh, dear lord, he took like a boss. Let's Thief whatever you've got, Claydol, which is nothing, because no Pokemon hold items in this game, apart from Gym Leaders, which is stupid. I don't like it. But, there we are, and here comes a Starmie, I'm going to stay in, uh, and just thief this thing, to be honest. So, at least there's a bit of variation in this gym, rather than just Kadabras or whatever, but I can thief and almost want to kill this thing. He's going to confuse me though, excuse me Starmie, what the hell do you think you're doing right now? What do you think you're doing? Uh, let me ex let me just use thief quickly. Come on, Luke, we got this, you're powerful, yes you can, oh boom, oh boom, you can Starmie. We've all is powerful as hell. Powerful as hell. It's gonna dominate this gym, man. Psychic Fritz was defeated. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync too. Uh, I can I can confirm that, dude. I can confirm. Okay, well let's activate this little thing here, whatever you call it. And we're up to the next battle. I think there's one more battle, and then or I mean we could do two more battles. It's up to you, up to us actually, because we can choose how many battles we do in this gym. You have to do them all, but we're just gonna do the one, I think. Boom. Let's go. I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. Get it ominous? Because that means like spooky and ghosty and she's a hex maniac, yeah. And there's actually a move called ominous wait ominous wind, that's the one. Ominous wave? That's a cool move name. But it's not real. Okay. This thing is psychic. Um I feel like I can take it very easily. I can thief it away, boom, and it's gonna do <laughs> one and kill. Boom. Goodbye, Chime Echo. Is it Chime Cho or Chime Echo? I have no idea, guys. Please someone help me out with that. I have no idea which it is. 
I never watched the anime, so I don't really know. So I don't know. You know, it's just, it's just a mystery, guys. It's a mystery. The trouble with using um, Weaver in, in the gym, though, is rock types and rock type moves and fire type moves. I'm guessing I'm gonna actually just take on the gym right now because you know we could do some more battles here. We've already battled this guy, see. So we're about to the start, and then we're gonna go straight up to the challenge of gym leaders here. So I guess we're going. <laughs> I'm scared because the fact that you know. Boom. Okay. Let's switch my team around. I'm going to start off with Ferrier and Prince because Ferrier has Rock Slide, which is going to do, you know, it's going to hit him both. And Prince has a, a move again. So he's got Bowl Beam. You can use Bowl Beam and Whirlpool, to be honest. So let's do it, boys and girl. A boy, let's do it, boy and girl. Let's do it, boy and girl there. Okay. Tate and Liza. I don't know, I don't like how their their arms are like outstretched and like dolls. <laughs> Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins! Great to hear, dude. We don't need to talk because we can tell each other. We can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. Talk about hard to figure that one out though. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Of course I can. Boom. The dancing though. The dancing though. The dancing though. The dancing though. Okay. Tate and Liza often fought in my mind, my mind as the hardest gym battle in the original games, or at least in Emerald, because there were four people in Emerald to defeat rather than just the two. But in, in Ruby and Sapphire, just two, as in the remake. So I don't know how hard it's going to be here, but they have level 45s. Oh dear lord, I could be fucked here. Uh, I can use Iron Head on either of them, actually. I've got the fact that I have Iron Head too. I'm going to let it work to take out Soul Rock first. Because I think that thing is the bigger threat. It's got Solar Beam. It's going for Prince. I can switch out next turn though, so it's all good if we need to. Um, but we might take it out in this turn anyway. And that's our speed lowered. Calm Mind for Lunatone. That thing could get quite annoying, but we have both physical and special attackers, so it's nothing too bo too big to worry about. Let's see how much damage Iron Head can do to Soul Rock here. It's actually going to take them out, so we don't have to worry about the Solar Beam anymore. I think that was a crit too, so that's all good there. That thing's gone, so one out of two defeated already. And Lunatone is last. Um, I guess like an Iron Head and uh, Iron Head and Bubble Beam it. Because I don't know what move it's going to use particularly, but Bubble Beam is going to slow it down as well, which could help out in in the next turn as well. Light Screen. Okay, well, Prince is going to do no damage at all because they have got a special defense boost as well. So it's down to Farrier, really. Uh, and Farrier is going to wipe out there. This, this Farrier is far too powerful, my lord. We didn't even take any damage in that battle. Okay, Liza and Tate. Tate and Lisa, whatever, are a teamwork. Yeah, it was completely anti destroyed by Feria. Oh my god. It can't be helped, you've won. So take us a recognition. We earned the seventh badge in the Hoenn region. The Mind Badge. Oh yeah. The Mind Badge is powered with a little low, etc. And give me a HM Dive and TMO4, Calm Mind. Oh yeah, boys and girls. Okay, Calm Mind. Comes from Max Your Mind and Concentrating. Pokemon Special Attack and Special Defense will be heightened by this move. It's a perfect move for Psychotype Pokemon. Looks like it's below, etc. Okay, I'll see you guys later. You, you, can, you can, okay, keep on talking, whatever, but yeah. So, guys, uh, this thing is gonna take us back to the start of the gym. Awesome. So, guys, that is gonna be it for today's episode of the Pokemon Mega Ruby Egg Look. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and drop a comment answering the question today, which is about the team at Magma Hideouts. But for now, I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.